we're going to need a few items for troubleshooting. We're going to need the latest version of the troubleshooting guide. We're also going to need an FC300 loaded with the latest version of FDM. And, of course, we're going to need some 100Ws that need investigating. If you're having trouble reading the endpoint, one of the first things you should try is moving closer to it. If you get closer to the endpoint and you're able to read it, you may need to send the endpoint to a higher power. There are two higher power modes for the 100W, hard to read mode or H2R and high power or HP. Select the mode you want to change the endpoint to, then select change mode and enter the endpoint ID. Remember, the hard to read mode will reduce the battery life from 20 years down to about 12 to 15. Verify that you're reading the correct module. Verify that the module type, pulser or encoder, is correct for the register. Make sure that the module is mounted correctly in an upright position and located in the pit as recommended by the install guide and not under water. If the mounting location is prone to filling with water, we recommend using a through the lid remote antenna. Determine if the installed endpoint is working properly by temporarily substituting a known good unit. 